Hey you guys, it's Chloe Dosh and this is going to be another hair video. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this new wig that I just purchased for $35. It's an Outre lace front wig, um, batik bundle hair. It has a lace parting and it's in the style Brazilian color S430 and it looks like this. I don't want it to look like how it looks on this girl's head. She, that doesn't, no, I don't like that. But um, we're gonna see how this goes. If you would like to see how I slay this wig, just keep watching. So of course I start with my hair braided backwards, um, not too big and not too small, flat braids. Um, and then I take the bands that are inside of the wig and I tighten it as much as I can. This is the wig. Um, I got this wig from um, my local beauty supply store. It's an Outre lace front wig um, in the style Brazilian. The color is S430. Um, I thought it was cute on the mannequin. It was a little ratchet looking, a little bit, because the mannequin had one in red. Um, but I definitely knew that we would be able to you know, spice it up. Uh, next, I'm going to tweeze the closure a little bit uh, because I want the part to open up. I want it to be a lot more realistic like it looks right now. Um, then I take a dark brown pencil, you can use an eyeshadow um, or anything, and I just color the little bit of lace that's showing just so it blends with my hair. Um, you can use your foundation also, whatever you have that will match your hair. And then I just take out the little bit of edges that I have there and cover it with the hair just so it blends. You can flat iron that part, but I'm not putting heat to my hair. And then I just take some random areas in the hair and cut in a angle. See how I'm cutting that in an angle? Um, you don't wanna cut straight across because then it will be too blunt and um, there's really no technique really you're just um, alternating from cutting um, in a slant from the back and a slant from the front then I'm gonna take a little bit of gel which is my little trick and I just rub it into my hand and pat it on the top of the hair that just keeps all the frizzies from moving um, and on synthetic hair I don't like to use any like spritz or anything like that so that's my little trick and I'm gonna take some light concealer. I'm using Fawn, which is what I use to highlight. And I'm just gonna place that right in the middle where the lace is, just so the part can look a little bit more defined and a little more real. And I'm using that same gel to gel down my edges a little bit and darken them also, which is why I'm not using um, my edge control. I want it to be just a slightly dark at the root, so yeah. And this is the wig, guys. You should definitely go out and buy it. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna take um, this weave brush and just open up the curls a little bit to make it all big and fluffy. I layered the hair mostly at the top so that it can be a lot more um, big at the top. These are just a couple of styles you can do with this wig. If you go out and purchase it, you guys should definitely tag me in the pictures. Let me see how it looks on you. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I like the ponytail. It's kind of cute, right? It's cute. If I didn't have no edges, it wouldn't be that cute. But, you know. Thank God for edges. Thank God for edges. Um, of course, I'm going to... Um, add some pins to keep the hair down so it's not going to be moving as much as it is right now but just for the sake of the video I did it because I wanted you guys to see the different styles so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Chloe Dosh Snapchat Chloe Dosh Facebook Chloe Dosh Chloe Dosh Earth Dying Chloe Dosh Earth Dying <laughs> uh I love you guys bye